fair journeys, Warden. How magnificent. I haven't eaten in days. More than paragons. Have you changed your mind yet? Are you willing to speak seriously? It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Haramont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! I won't have fighting in the commons, especially in front of outsiders. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there, sort this all out in a hurry. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Yes, you should. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? You look like you're not from around here. Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Why would such a small people build things so tall? They must own an impressive array of ladders. What's this? A human? We make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. Don't let the calm fool you. The Darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. 
The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Of course not. Down here you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. A few outposts. Legion of the dead mostly, fools that they are. Some scavenger types too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Into the deep roads? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a Desher's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. I, for your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Do you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Uh, I don't know that word. This is a section of stone kept bare to receive our prayers. The stone gave rise to our people, and it is where their spirits return in death. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return, or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. Is that drunken singing I hear? Baker's blessing on you, sister. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, 
You looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. I'll get on it. H have you a coin to spare, my lady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him! Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. Antiva, who would be very excited to meet you. I'm sorry. Salveil prefers women with experience and maturity. He says they have more substance, are more robust and flavorful. Does he now? Indeed. No need to deny it. Zevran knows a fine bird when he sees one. I am not a bird. There is no reason to deny yourself the pleasure of male companionship, after all, yes? You might buck now, but I assure you, Salveil is a gentleman of means and quite handsome. I am going to walk away now. Calmly. Coolly. This is to save you the pain of having your brain forcibly removed through your ears. This must be a Ferelden thing, I swear. have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Questions arise regarding Lord Balin's impending marriage to a Catholic. Favoritism to the Catholic suspected. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. 
it would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. <laughs> and this is to be your king. One who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Lord Haramont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Haramont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? I suppose not everyone can face death as undaunted as an Antiven, it's true. Then you agree to fight in Haramont's name. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Haramont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighter's preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Just ignore that! Bronca didn't go alone, Opera. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. Do you think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon, or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. about my conscience for some time, my darling Wynne. That is correct. And I am not your darling. Ah, so once again I am rejected. Just as I am by the cruel, cruel fates. They are harsh mistresses to the elves. Severin, I am old enough to be your grandmother. You say that like it's a bad thing. And what would you do with me if you had me, mm -hmm. This is a game you play, nothing more. Ah, you are a cynical woman, Wynne. Cynical and powerful. It drives me mad with desire. Can I get you a ladder so you can... Oh, they don't kill each other in the arena, do they? I mean... Why would anyone find that entertaining? The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Come back soon. You'll be fighting... Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. 
You're working for Haramont? Look, best of luck to you, but I really need to leave. Nothing. I'm leaving the proving. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. Balin's fighter, Miyaja, showed me love letters they have, from Revelka to me. If I fight, they'll expose us. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I... I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter, Miyaja, has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Haramont again. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. You must be the Grey Warden. Luke John said one of you signed up. They said the Warden's here to fight for Haramon. I guess we'll have to show what kind of tricks we learn in Orzammar. Is that an accusation? It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. You haven't been here long. You'll learn soon enough. Nothing in Orzammar is private. As long as someone can find out. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. You are quickly overstepping your welcome. You are quickly overstepping your welcome. So you're the Grey Warden Lord Haramont brought in to replace his missing fighters. The Idukins have held the throne for nine generations. The Assembly should have turned to every last member of our line before handing Orzammar over to some lesser family. Just watch. The ancestors will prove me right in the ring. Now's better than later. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at Didn't that. Didn't I say I need to concentrate? There's plenty of time to congratulate me after the fight. So you're the Grey Warden? It's an honor. Really, a privilege. You hear so much about the Wardens. They say on the surface, they're the only ones who fight Darkspawn, and everyone hails them as heroes, and... Uh, are you taking recruits? Blight, then that must mean you want recruits. I bet you're here to pick the best fighters. Am I right? Really? That would... that would be great. I always wanted to travel with the Wardens. See the world. Oh, and uh, best of luck in the ring. On it. As you like. Proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Where did you get those? No, 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 I, I don't want to know. Just... thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I will be glad to fight for Haramont in the Provings. Thank you again, friend.
You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. It's a pleasure. Sorry it can't be longer. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. I bet he did. That man thinks nothing is beneath him. Well, you could just tell him I had my reasons. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? I, uh... I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Maybe I will at that. You looking at something? Never understood why everyone thinks the Grey Wardens are so great. Prince Valen will be happy to hear I've flattened you into the dirt. When the sun shines in Orzammar... Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The women who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. The Silent Sisters support the Sitting King. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. May the ancestors choose their champion wisely. Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is final. No new additions are accepted, and all withdrawals are marked as losses. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is the glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Harriman's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Iduken and our future King Balan, First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! You're never going to win! This fight is fine! This will be fun! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Sawern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is the glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo, the warrior cast twin terrors 
now fighting for Prince Balan, Viaja, and Lukja. May the stone honor you. You fall. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Fighting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Enfren. Paramount's champion cleared the stone, but can she hold out? against the Paragon's own favorites, the Silent Sisters. We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proves her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! You'll get no mercy from me! The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Enfren. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshef fought as King Bloodvik II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none. Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack Ivo and Valans. You honor me. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Enfren. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balan, the Oten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harriman, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Iduken. You honor me. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! <laughs> 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 
Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. The ancestors speak through you. Congratulations, Warden. You showed them. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Harrowmont today. When my arm heals, you watch out, Dustin. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. <laughs>